everybody. Good morning. She's force feeding Alize. No, she don't <laughs> want to eat her own vitamin. <laughs> Apparently she's hungry. She's not hungry. If I give her one of mine, she'll eat it. Ah, uh, we're somewhere in Texas. 1171 miles to go to Phoenix with another load of frozen chickens. Oh, Lord, we are at this Love's in the middle of nowhere. Better than Tracy. Yeah. But Tracy paid better. Did it? Yeah. Did this place is an absolute cluster. So. We're going to have fun getting out of here. A whole bunch of people parking where they ain't supposed to be parking, blocking proper parking spaces, people getting out, things like that. The rudeness makes you wonder sometimes. I mean, great big old plastic K-Rail and giant bold black letters, you know, big yellow K-Rail with bold black letters, no parking, and they still want to park there. Oh well, made Chris some dip this morning after I got out of the shower. Star Trekker. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Where 
wherever you point your phone, that's a constellation. I mean, the stars that you should see. Uh, works great for helping me set up the camera and everything because you actually photograph more stars than you can see with your eye because you're doing real long exposures. You want to keep them around 25 to 30 seconds max because uh, star trails, stars move. Actually, the Earth moves and well, everything's moving, but uh, if you go super long exposure, you know, you create streaks instead of spots. But you still get a lot more onto the quote film or sensor on a digital camera than you can see with your naked eye. So this helps a whole lot for helping me line the camera up and all. I really like this app. I'm going to get a couple of GoPro mounts and mount the hot shoe on top of the camera where the flash mounts. And I'm going to rig up a phone holder. And that way the phone will be perfectly in line and everything with the lens. And I can tilt the camera and look at the phone. That's on down the road a little ways. Uh, and also, uh, to put a GoPro on top of the camera so I can video while I'm taking pictures and have more control over uh, aiming the GoPro and things like that. Just general stuff. I have two more tripods. One of them I'm setting up for the GoPro. One of them I snatched the base mount off of and put it on my big lens, my 70-200 lens. I mean big, it's that long and that big around, big heavy monster. Because with those monster lenses you don't attach the camera you attach the lens to the tripod. But I still need one on the camera because that's the only lens that I mount that way. So I need to have one on the camera as well. And instead of switching it over, it's a whole lot quicker for me to just leave those mounts on both of them. I wish I could find tripods like the one I used to have. Quick release on it was just incredible, awesome tripod, but I can't find it anywhere. And it's a whole lot better than the, my best tripod I have now. I miss that thing. It's an Illinois. I might have to go snatch it back from the niece. But yeah, that's what I've been doing mostly is still photography. I checked uh, when I uploaded the pictures I took tonight. I already had over 1,300 pictures on this camera. Wow. Thank God I'm not shooting film. Because that's about what I had on my Pentax film camera back in the 80s. Total. Over a couple of years. Oh no, I had more than that. But it sure is a whole lot less expensive doing it this way. But that's what I've been up to. So tomorrow we're going to sit all day at the pilot in Phoenix. They won't let us deliver tomorrow. So it's possible I won't record. It's possible I will record. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. Because most of the day I'm just going to be laying there sleeping. But we're planning on going back to Islands for dinner. Which you have seen before. our favorite restaurant in Phoenix. And it's inexpensive. That too. Great food, incredible service, 
got 600 and, uh, 600, 6 hours and 26 minutes left on my initial 8, which I'll probably stop in about 4.5 hours, and if I do, that'll leave me with 5 hours of remaining drive time after that, for a total of 9 hours, which means I've got plenty of time to make it. We're sitting at the Triple T in Tucson, 136 miles to go. Take about 30 minutes, but it's overcast and it's been raining off and on. Uh, so, no going out and taking pictures right now. But there's a beautiful saguaro cactus right here that I'd love to get a picture of. If it wasn't for the ugly house behind it. And the fact that it's pitch black dark. But this truck stop, although not much of a truck stop, has an awesome restaurant. So if you're ever through Tucson, you'll see the 3T sign. Uh, great food there. Awesome restaurant. It's on the west side, I mean on the east side of town. Just ahead. So 136 more miles. And I don't have the hours. I actually ran my clock down to 15 minutes to get here. They closed my favorite rest area. Which is the Texas Canyon rest area in Arizona. Uh, because I love taking pictures out there. I just love how the boulders are piled up and stuff. So I'm gonna eat me a little something and we'll check back in when I get to Phoenix. Guess where we are? In Florida. <laughs> Actually not. <laughs> Going back to the claim jumper. Yay. I mean, not the claim jumper. What am I saying? Jeez. I'm sitting there looking at the claim jumper over across the parking lot. Jeez. We're at Islands. Islands, Islands, Islands. Our favorite restaurant out here. Great food, awesome service, low prices. See, there it is. It's too dang chilly to eat out. Oh. Is somebody happy to see us? Is somebody happy to see us? She even rolled down the window when we came out. What? 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 Did you close the w open the window? 